Hi everybody, today we are super excited to show you two brand new features with Josh that are really doubling down on the Apple user experience. The first is gonna be deep linking with Apple TV and the second is going to be iOS notifications. Let's jump right in. So to start, I'm gonna be showing you guys the deep linking integration with Apple TV using the Josh remote here in our Samsung frame behind me. So to start, I'm just gonna give a compound command to transform the room around us. Dim the lights, close the shades, and watch Guardians of the Galaxy on Apple TV. So what's gonna happen is the lights are gonna dim, the shades are gonna close, and Josh is going to open Guardians of the Galaxy on Apple TV. It knows exactly that it's in Disney Plus, and it'll pull it right up for us to use. Then with the Josh remote, we can you know scroll around, pause, do whatever we need to do. So super easy to launch into your favorite movies or TV shows on any of our supported streaming services. Secondly, we can watch YouTube videos. So say I want to watch a YouTube video of skiing, we can do that easily here. So watch skiing videos on YouTube on Apple TV. So the reason I had to say on Apple TV in this case scenario is because we also have a Roku connected to this device. If we didn't have a Roku and it was only an Apple TV, you would be able to just say, watch videos of skiing and it would pull it right up. So let's skip and here we go. We have a fun video of a toddler skiing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and now we're gonna jump into iOS notifications. So to get started with push notifications, you're gonna to wanna to navigate to your profile icon in the top left of your iOS device. From here, we bring up our device settings and we wanna to go to the system settings. So clicking on our system, the Josh HQ demo, we're then pulled up with different system settings. So manage users, chat history, Josh GBT, and the one we care about, push notifications. So you click push notifications and it is bringing up kind of prompting you to add a new notification, which we will do. So here, now we have some smart suggestions, different things that you can do with the push notifications based on the devices in your system. We want to make a custom notification though. So I'm gonna hit custom notification. It now brings up all of the different devices in our system. So we have lights, shades, locks, music, and video. And then you can also have push notifications for scenes. So that's when you can get into kind of automated triggers and having push notifications based off of those triggers. But right now we're gonna do kind of a common use case, which is locks. You wanna know when your front door is unlocked or when your back door gets locked, whatever the case scenario may be. So here in the office, we have an inventory closet where we have some Josh inventory and we want to know when that device is unlocked. So we click add device and now it brings up kind of the parameters. So we can toggle back and forth from if it is locked, we'll get a push notification or what we want when it is unlocked. And then we can add a time frame. So maybe at certain times are the only time we want this to happen. So Monday through Friday, let's say we don't care because we're in the office, but on the weekends, if that inventory closet is unlocked, it might be a little weird. So we want to push a notification about it. Then we can also set times, let's say 9 a.m. We want a notification, notification between 9 a.m. and let's say 10 p. 10.30 p.m. So now on Saturday and Sunday between 9 a.m. and 10.30, if that closet is unlocked, we will get a push notification for that. And we hit save, and now you can see it shows up with the different parameters. And then we can always click add new. Let's say any scene runs, we want to push notification. Very easy. And you can see how you can build kind of these different notifications. And then there's obviously if you don't find it useful or just want to turn it off, you can turn off push notification for when a scene runs, or you can turn all of them off with this toggle at the top. I hope this was informative and I hope you guys really enjoy these new features.